So the overview of today is that I didn't get up to anything. Nothing at all. No, seriously, I didn't do anything today. The birds are the most interesting thing of the day, as you see, the, um, they're going to be flying past, so, um, but yeah, just basically a normal day, didn't have anything to, even to do with study, because I was busy fixing up an assignment, so I'm really, I think it's going to take all week to do this next study module, even just studying it, because, um, I, I keep getting interrupted with, you know, feedback, which tells me to redo assignments, and B, because it's really, 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 really long. So I haven't been doing anything today, but reviewing an assignment that I already did, um, and fixing it up, so... I have no idea if I'm going to actually pass now that I've fixed it up, but I'm closer than ever, hopefully. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm just outside enjoying my the air. It's, it's quite cold, actually. But I'm still enjoying it. And I'm um, hoping that tomorrow is going to be a little bit more fulfilling in regards to the studies. Um, because I didn't do anything today at all, so, but I know this, these next four modules that I have to do are going to be very slow to do because, A, I don't need to do them, if, have them done till next year, and B, it's just got a lot more, um, information to read, so it's longer. So, you know, it's going to take a week to read through each information instead of a couple of days, so, which is what I've been doing for the past two months now. So, um, that helped me, that momentum helped me to finish my last course. And it doesn't look like it's going to help to finish this next course either. Um, because, um, it's just, it's just generally longer. But what do you expect for a certificate four instead of a certificate three, I guess, so. Um, and then after I finish it, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, um, they said, um, if I don't get a job by the end of the course, I can do, um, I can do a, a free course. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to take advantage of that offer and do the free course. Um, I don't think I saved that page that said that offer, but, um, but, um, yeah, maybe they'll have written it down somehow. This is the night sky. It's not dark enough to keep my profile in shadow. I'll just walk around here a bit more. Be a bit more alone over here. Ah, oh, my face looks like my face looks like um definitely looks quite old. <laughs> oh, here's a better. I've got a bit of blockage from the neighbours over here, so that's a different view altogether. There's a setting sun behind me. That's where the sun's going to be setting. Um, but yeah, so it's been a real nothing day. I'm kind of getting bored of being inside, but I don't have any place to go. Um, I don't have anywhere to visit or anything, so. <laughs> so if I'm not outside, I'm going for a walk. If I'm not going for a walk, I'm coming back inside. So I'm kind of bored right now. Um, it's making, I think it's making a difference to my study momentum as well. I mean, I could have started on another chapter, watched at least one of the two videos that I have to watch. But I didn't do anything because I didn't feel like it. But I've been applying for jobs. Um, I didn't get this job interview at this place, which is far away from me. 
I didn't really especially want to go there. Um, it looked sort of in the middle of nowhere sort of thing. And I know it's one of those places which ha possibly had bad business in the past. I have no idea if they've modernized because they're really isolated. But I said, but I'm linked with a new job network right now, a job agency. So hopefully that'll help some jobs to come in and apply for them and get them. I think they work from home positions, but I'm not entirely sure. So, um, but I also applied for a few work from home positions. Sydney's got probably the better ones. And Melbourne's got the other versions of the good work from home positions. I already got two apply from Melbourne. Um, uh, two agencies in Melbourne which were offering work from home positions. And I didn't get the jobs, obviously. Um, but it's good that they gave me a speedy reply because, you know, I don't know wait pretty much, you know, it's all just apply, get it all, get the information back and right away in the same day that I apply. So they're obviously not really looking for, you know, candidates for other positions anymore. And it doesn't help that I'm interstate, so, um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I sort of need a job. I realized that yesterday once again. And I was going to take pick up on this job, but the the language of the uh, administration is just going off. Like I said, I, I'm free anytime today for a online interview. And I said, we need you to come here. And I said, well, I'm definitely not going to be able to make it for the one o'clock today. And they're like, oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I wasn't really into it because I was in a far off place. I have to travel further than the city, and I'm not really into that at all. To a place that I don't know, I have to catch a taxi to an isolated place, which is, sure enough, a, a, within 30 minutes walk from the train station. But, um, yeah, so, I just don't, I just don't really want to go. <laughs> no, but, um... I wasn't that keen on it anyway, so it was just a work from home position, but I'm really keen on this, um, to some of the other jobs I'd apply for in the city, so, except I'm not sure whether one was in the city or just advertised to be in the city, but either way, you know, whatever. Um, but, I have a, a new employment agent now, and, uh, and I just have to see how things go. My biggie. Whee! Um, but I will say that I'm bored. Watch me do a dance. You know, this is like, you know, in movies where people are bored, they lift up their arms and dance. <laughs> it's very boring being stuck at home a lot. I think my eyes are like turning squinty from being indoors. But I'm um, having a bit of trouble the past couple of days with my boredom. Saturday, Saturday was okay because we had people dropping by, but yesterday and today just sort of really bored. And I'm not really enjoying staying here at all and I went to job and I keep applying for jobs and I don't get them. <laughs> um, which, which me it's a dying son. No, but I'm seriously looking for work. Um, but I'm not really... I could make some more songs, I guess. I keep a play for these little, um, little online jobs that you get the answer for in a couple of days. I had an interview last week, and I don't think they're really into me. So I lost one of the jobs, but I had another one today. I'll send in a video if they approve it, which they may. I will be, um... I will be get a bit of money from that. And I made progress with my complaint of, against needing to pay 24 grand back to Centrelink for them paying me for two years. 
and they want their money back so uh, I got um, I sort of made some progress with that today I sort of got the uh, complaint heightened um, and they'll send a letter back to me sometime in the next month or so um, and hopefully I won't need to pay so much or any of the money or you know they'll see that I'm kind of in disparity a little bit financially and taking all the money that I've earned since you know they've given me money and you know, taking away all my own monies which I've earned uh, away just because I feel like it, um, reviewing and saying oh this person you know, shouldn't have even been paid, you know, a couple of years ago. So I'll see how that goes. But um, I wasn't very happy to receive a, a 24 grand um, debt. Uh, because obviously I'm going to have trouble paying it. Um, you know, even on their payment system, I'd be paying close to two grand a month. And who doesn't make two grand a month? Me. I don't make two grand a month. And if, if they requested all the money straight up, which they've done previously, if they requested all the money straight up, that'd be like all my money out of my bank, flushed right out into their hands for whatever reason, I don't know. So quite, quite a bit unfair. I think if they misjudge you on the application, um, on the ap application when you apply for things like support from Centrelink, I think if they misjudge and put you in approval, it should be their error and they should be taking um, uh, stages to ensure that that doesn't happen again, but it should be their error. It shouldn't be your error um, that they've paid you and now they want their money back. It should be their error like, oh, we've accidentally paid this person. Now we need to, you know, change legislation or change our forms or, or, or do or do something to ensure that it doesn't happen again, you know, and instead of them taking the blame, they put the blame on you and say, hey, you know, we accidentally paid you, we accidentally approved you for payments and now we want our money back, you know, it's like, I think that's more than unfair, you know, because that's a lot of money and it's like, you know, that takes all the pride out of, because obviously I used the money as they gave it to me, I mean, I didn't hoard any of that money, you know, I used it, you know, for for support, you know, and stuff when I was studying, and I was like, you know, them taking away your money, you know, um, is no good. It's like taking away your pride of, you know, your pride of saving and, and, and your pennies until you think that you might be able to afford something that you want you know, something big, maybe even just a car or something. And they're like, oh, we don't want you to have that pride. We want our money back. Give it to me, you know, sort of thing. So it, take, it takes away all your efforts and, and makes you need to start again. You know, it's, it's like, you know, having a ladder, you know, falling off and needing to start at the bottom again. But with money, it's not a ladder to climb. It's a it's, it's just money you collect somehow, whatever you do. And for me, um, I don't have a business, and I don't really know how to have a business, and I don't have any particular skills which um, I can, you know, offer to run a business or anything. So for me, it's very hard on me because um, I'm almost being kicked out of the last place on earth that I'm going to be allowed to live and be supported by someone. Like I can, I can be kicked out any day. I know I say that all the time, and I'm not actually kicked out. But you know, the last place I lived took three years before the people kicked me out, and this, and I've already almost been kicked out three times already. So I'm guessing by the end of the year, you know, my um, parent might break this tour and say, "Hey, I want you out." <laughs> so that's why I keep looking for jobs, even though I don't feel like working and stuff. Um, I just keep looking for jobs and stuff, but um, I probably should have um, gone for this work from home position a little bit more, but I don't like it when they don't speak um, clear enough and they start using, you know, 
uh, non-attached speech, or what do you call it, um, tangled speech, you know, they, they pretend that they can't speak English, they, they monk, they muddle up their words and sentences to create fractured sentences and stuff. Um, I don't really like it when they do that, it just means, uh, but, you know, that's probably the best place to work for, I don't know, I never worked for them, but, um, but, yeah, um, but I lost that one. So, I'm going to have to start again with these new employers and other people. I played for an exciting job recently and it would be really great if I got it, it's just ordering and, and using staff which I love to use because it's nice and easy, there's nothing hard about it, but um, mozzies, but um, I probably won't get it, it's probably high competition for such a high profile, jo profile job, um, but I'm being um, a put under um, I'm being put under, oh, what, what do you call it, put under um, in line for a photography job at the moment. And I, and I said, they said, what's your payment requirement? And I said, oh, around uh, 75 grand <laughs> plus 0.2% for advertising um, the photographs that you use for marketing and stuff. So 0.2% on every um, marketing reel and I'm like if I got that job I'd be like <laughs> I put I put down the most ridiculous um, the most ridiculous um, you know circumstances but well that's to help you pay for the merchandise and for to print what 90 or a thousand you know, around a hundred prints um, on a certain size canvas um, and of course I'll need the, the, the camera requirements, a good camera I mean I have a good camera now but I need a really good camera, um, one that's not actually uh, manual I need an automatic camera so I plan to buy a very expensive automatic camera and um, see how I'll go with all that so I don't know I probably use the manual and the automatic. The manual's almost, um, yeah. So, but if I got that, that'd be great. I mean, I put I put down the most ridiculous, um, uh, you know, payment structure. But I, that would make me very happy <laughs> because, um, yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the best jobs because I've, I go, oh yeah, one off job. You know, 100 pictures, 25 grand, you know. But that's also to purchase the, um, you know, 100 pairs of, of, um, of uh, uh, stock or merchandise or whatever, plus paying for 100 canvases, um, prints, and also postage, whatever, so. And it's all going to cost like over, probably f over $5,000 plus a camera for me. I need a good one. And then all the rest is just profit. So, <laughs> but it'd be funny if I got that one. <laughs> so I, was, I was like going, screw this, you know. I'm going to put down the most ridiculous terms for all that. Uh, as you can see, the sun is dying now. Woo! So it's about time I go inside, escape the mozzies, and recharge my phone because it's going blank. It's going uh, running down a power. But that's sort of been my day. It's been like such a boring day. But I've I've only got like an assignment upgraded, and I didn't get that job interview, the online one like I'd hoped. The person just said nonsense until I said, "Oh, screw it," you know, just just go away, really. <laughs> And so now I'm stuck without any job prospects, um, and, um, I don't know, uh, what was that? Okay. 
and so tomorrow might bring something new I don't know but I did sign up with an agency so good for me yeah but um yeah I did sign up with an agency but other than that just, the phone's dead I got an offer to join uh, one of those income building things where you build on stock I said no I know all about stock I just lose all my money on stock so <laughs> but tomorrow I'm getting paid yeah I'm getting paid tomorrow from um, my support payments so that'd be nice makes me feel like a, a millionaire to get <laughs> to get my payments no it makes me yeah not reach zero I've only got a hundred bucks in my bank, so it's gonna refuel that.